All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to VR Fatness. My name is Hammer. Uh, and today's Friday. So you know what we do on Fridays? We take it easy. We still get out there. We still get in our exercise, but we kind of blew ourselves up on Monday and Wednesday. So we want to make sure that we're giving our body enough time to recover, but still keeping our, you know, blood flowing and blood pumping. So today I figured we'd do um, Hollow Point. It's one of the usual games. It is what it is. Uh, we'll do Hollow Point, but I'm doing it in first person so you guys can kind of see what I'm seeing. Uh, what you're seeing is a little bit wider than what I normally see, but it's about the right height. Uh, so you should be able to see uh, like the arrow in my hand, the, the bow and whatnot. Um, and we're going to start at the beginning. Normally I like to start at five because it's a nice slow ramp up to some of the harder levels. Uh, but I kind of want to just start at one, wave one, and we'll just work our way up nice and slow. We'll do this as a nice little warm up. Um, just get in some, just get in a little bit of cardio. Nothing too crazy. We don't want to kind of kill it. Like I said, it's a take or easy Friday. And uh, that's basically what we're going to do today. Just take it nice and easy. Just kind of chill. We're not going to go too intense into it. I don't know what kind of other games we're going to play after this. Um, because, I mean, this will get a little more intense as we get deeper. But obviously, um, obviously I'm not trying to like blow myself up here. I'll turn the volume up a little bit here. There we go. So yeah, nice little slow build up. I don't know how far we'll get in this. I'll probably do a round or two, maybe mess around with one of the different aiming methods uh, in the second time around. But just, just get the blood flowing, but in a nice little a gentler, gentler way. It's a Friday night. I'm not trying to have a painful weekend, uh, you know, having my muscles recover and everything like that. That's what Monday and Wednesday are for. Um, Obviously, I don't just do VR. I walk around when I can, you know. So uh, when the weather's a bit nicer out, uh, I like to go for a wander around my neighborhood. Um, a few blocks, maybe a mile or two, just to just to get the heart pumping a little bit without trying to blow it up. I don't think my joints would hold up if I tried to run. I'm a, still a big boy. But yeah, so I'm on the East Coast, and we just had a pretty big storm, as I've heard, as I'm sure people have heard here. So, um, a lot of shoveling involved, a lot of cleaning off cars. It's probably not a good idea to, to push the body too much uh, in one day. I said both of those things, a lot of shoveling, a lot of cleaning of cars like I did those. Uh, all I did was clean a car this morning, which is not particularly difficult. But I know some of you out there probably had to shovel your driveways or your sidewalks or whatever, and that sucks. That super sucks. I have a landlord. <laughs> I have a landlord for that, luckily. So that's his problem, not mine. So yeah, we'll just, like I said, we're going to take it nice and slow for now. Uh, obviously, it's going to pick up as we go on. But like I said, I'm not trying to do, I'm trying to reinvent the wheel here. I'm not trying to get crazy. I'm just going nice and slow and smooth and steady. Give you guys a little taste of the first person view for this particular game. Like I said, I try to avoid using it, uh, at least for this one, because it's a... There's a lot of whipping around, and to give you guys a context of what's going on, I like using a third-person view. That way you can see some of the, the targets that I can't. So we're up to wave six. Usually we start at wave five just because it's a little bit faster. Um, but I, I don't mind the little the little warm-up from wave one through one through five, you know? It's a slower day. Not trying to kill ourselves here. Obviously, we're trying to do the opposite of kill ourselves by exercising. Get the heart a little bit more healthy than maybe it was before aerobically. Uh, but without necessarily, you know, getting it out of control. So yeah, uh, I'm using the easier aiming method kind of a matter of preference. I don't mind the other one, but uh, concentrating more on moving around here than I am on, you know, accuracy and score, especially today on a take your easy Friday. It's always nice to have a little bit of uh, something lighter before the weekend begins, you know? I don't have too many weekend plans. I'll actually probably get on here and stream some flat screen uh, 2D stuff tomorrow 
because my girlfriend's got school all day. She goes to school like once a month, so. And it's for the whole day, like one Saturday a month because it's on a lot of online classes, so. Days like that, I get all to myself. And while I usually would just sleep, what the hell, I might as well play some video games while I'm at it too, you know? Get out of bed, take a shower. Such as wasting away. Oh, come on. Oh, he's close. So yeah, this is a lot better with the uh, deluxe audio strap rather than the default head headband there. <sighs> it's just a lot more comfortable. So yeah, see, we had a nice little warm up, starting to get the blood pumping a little bit more, starting to feel it a bit. I feel like, and maybe this is just me, but I feel like if you start at the lower levels, these spawn differently. Like, I feel like maybe the difficulty ramps up quicker because you're still carrying on a score from way back when, if you're trying to get like a high score kind of deal. But these guys don't usually spawn in these interesting kind of patterns. It's amazing, oh, that got me. It's amazing how much better it feels to play this game when you know what the hell you're actually doing and have a good idea what's going on. It's more smooth, you're moving around a lot smoother. I'm number 7,247 in the world right now. That's kind of garbage. Can't imagine there's more than 10,000 people with VR, you know? I'm sure there are. Ooh, baby, mama, nope. I don't mind this round. I like that they introduce those guys slowly by themselves. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar, I never kind of went into this for score, never was trying to beat beat the game too much. Um, I was just kind of doing it for exercise. Last time we played here on Wednesday, uh, there's actually a boss character on level 15, and I actually beat her for the first time. Something I hadn't done before. So I've actually gotten a little bit deeper into the game. There's some more enemies that I hadn't seen before. Mostly orange ninjas. Uh, it's these guys. But they do like kick flips and shit and they come at you. Where's he up? There's one behind me too, I think, right? Yep. Yeah, so like it's it's nice to be able to track your fitness getting better. I know I'm looking a little goofy and all that fun stuff, but I can tell you right now, when I first started playing this game back in the day, round one was enough. First five rounds, I was like huffing and puffing. I was also 300 pounds, so you know, hard work does pay off. Slowly but surely, I got hit that time. Slowly but surely, I'm a little bit bigger of a person, but uh, I started out a lot bigger. There's always progress that can be made. Oh, I don't know where that is. Ah. Missed me. Missed me with that weak shit. Oh. I'll hit you. He's a threat. He was a threat. He was not a threat. When they spawn behind those pillars, they're not too difficult to, uh, to deal with. So you gotta be quick. If you're not quick enough, the blue boys will shoot at you. I don't know how much harder it gets. I've been introduced to slightly harder enemies who do like kickflips and shit and shoot like ninja stars at your face. Those are pretty, pretty difficult. There's one behind me. Oh shit. So if you're not quick enough, that's how you get taken out. And that's where a lot of the exercise comes from. I would say this room is, I don't know, 10 feet by maybe six. 10 if it's lucky. And you wouldn't think moving around in that kind of a small space would be, you know, super big workout. But if you're dancing around like an absolute idiot, oh, I got hit, I'm probably gonna die. Then guess what? Yeah, I think these spawn a lot more difficult 
and a lot more difficult patterns if you start at the beginning because this is way harder than it usually is. Him, you, oh, I got it. So you can shoot the bullets out of the air if you're not familiar. Sometimes it's a valid defense, uh, but it's usually not. Usually you want to handle what's coming at you. All right, so if these guys don't get me, I'm getting to the boss. I don't think I can take her down. You got to hit her in the head like four times. It's way too accurate. Eh, maybe we will get to her. I don't think I'll beat her though. All right, so this is the boss. We'll see what happens. <sighs> yeah, ding her in the head when she stands still. Oh, I did it. All right. You got to hit her twice. All right, well, this is usually where I die. These guys are rough. Watch them. Watch this dude. They shoot like two stars at you after they spin. I don't know when they do it. Shit. Oh, fuck. So you can hear him coming. Uh, but not very well. Ooh, hey, okay. <sighs> the problem is you don't hear those, uh, those ninja stars coming at you very well. It's not very clear. I gotta mix them up. All right, well, this is the farthest I've made it yet. And that's after starting at the first level, which is pretty good. Like I said before, progress is progress. No matter how small, no matter how little it seems, as long as you're making progress, you're making progress. I'm going to tell you right now, when I first started doing this, I'd be completely out of breath at this point. I wouldn't be able to talk. I mean, I'm still, still breathing heavily, but by no means am I... You know, panting like a dog about to pass out. <sighs> I'm getting there. But this is this is good. And this is what matters. Just every day you do something, try to get a little bit more in shape. Oh boy, I'm missing that one. Whoa, damn. Pegged right in the face on that one. I'm probably going to die here. I'm feeling the steam run out. Really whiffing these guys here. Ooh, he's the threat. Threat, threat. Kill him. <laughs> Not sure why I wasn't hitting him. So yeah, at this point, it becomes a bigger threat assessment as to who is more dangerous than others. These rounds get longer and longer too. Let me turn the volume up just a smidgen. So if you ever see me looking at my controller like this, I'm not sure if you can tell on the stream, but I've got an overlay uh, that shows the, the Twitch chat. So I can see what you guys are saying. It's not the greatest solution to uh, what I'm doing, but it works. Yeah, I remember when I first started playing this, I did not make it uh, anywhere near this far. I made it probably about as far as the fifth or sixth level. I also had the other head strap. I'm going to say that the, the head strap I'm wearing has a lot more to do, do with it because you're, you're more comfortable moving a lot because the headset doesn't feel like it's going to fall off your head. Oh, shit, hit the wall. All right, cool. We're making progress. No matter what happens here, this is the best I've ever done. So no matter what, it's always good news here. The sound cues are usually pretty good. And these levels get longer and longer. It's kind of nice. Kind of always get a workout, you know? The better you get at the game, the later you can start. So, you know, if you don't want to go through all the effort to do what I just did all over again, 
<sighs> I can actually start on level 15. Wave 20. Does that unlock wave 20? So I think I can start at wave 20 now. Either that, or I gotta beat wave 20 to start at wave 20. I'm not sure which. Jeez, there's a lot of these guys coming quick too. There's one right behind me. Oh shit. Oh god damn, he was close. See, when VR works, it feels like you're in the game, and it's super, super cool. You feel like a fucking badass. And I'm sure you guys are looking at me. I'm sure I don't look like one. I'm getting wrapped up in this cable, though. VR really needs to be a wireless solution. <sighs> Soon. Like, probably the next generation would be wireless, I would imagine. Obviously, better better video quality. You guys can't really see it. You just kind of see what my computer's rendering, but the screens are a little low res. I'll say it's like 1080p per eye or something along those lines, and that sounds high. <sighs> but it's also like inches from your eye, you know? It's like... Not even inches, it's probably like an inch away from your eye, so you can kind of see the pixels. I like VR a lot. It's not ready for mainstream still, but it's very close. They need better games. Like, this is, unfortunately, one of the better games like this. A lot of them are shooting gallery style stuff. And while this one's fun, <laughs> they're not all necessarily fun. Hold on here, I'm dragging something weird behind me. You behind me? No? Okay. Keep expecting them to be behind me, and I'm not sure why they're not spawning over there. There we go. I don't know how these levels work. I don't know if they're randomly generated. Like, if these guys just come out at certain intervals, or if there's an actual pattern. I don't know that I've ever paid enough attention to figure that out. I imagine they're random. If you figure out the pattern, then you can probably just you know, get better that way by memorization. And the whole point is to have fast reactions. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm doing pretty well for how uh, I've done in the past. Like I said before, every little step that is a step of improvement is a good step. You never want to backslide. Ooh. Even if you do, at least you tried, you know? Jeepers. See, the problem is I gotta hit. I gotta start hitting on the first shot here. And I'm kinda fucking that up. If you miss... If you don't hit on the first shot, it takes you too long to recover. It's probably the end, right? Shit, all right. To get in the zone, you get in the zone, kinda. Uh, I do the bow sideways, you'll notice. Uh, it just feels right. I'm sure they want you to do it this way, up and down. Like you're some stupid Hunger Games thing, but I'd rather do it sideways like I'm some stupid Genji thing. Or not Genji, Hanzo. I haven't played Overwatch in a while. There's one right there. Once you get to this point, it's kind of about threat assessment. Like, which which direction are you trying to handle? And what type of enemy are you trying to handle the most? There's one behind me. What else is there? Oh, way over there. Not a threat. Wave 25. Pretty sure that means I can start at wave 25. I've almost exactly doubled my high score. I've got a little bit more to go, but... Oh shit, there's a lot of these boys. But see, at this point, you just kill two ninjas with one stone, you know? Ah, fuck! Not good at things being close. If you ever played VR, you get some unnatural shit all up inside you like that. Uh, <laughs> probably won't do too well either unless you're used to it. 
did you come from? Jeez, these guys are coming quick. So I'm probably gonna die here. Kind of my last stand. Fucking the Alamo here. There's a guy right behind me. Yep. Is my computer making that noise? Okay, so what is that? What's that error message? I think I dropped from the stream. That sucks. Internet connection went down. Here's what it is. It does that a lot. I don't know why. This is still recording, so I have to keep acting like I'm doing something. Google. Okay. My router is uh, a problem. There's no internet connection. I gotta physically disconnect my computer. So yeah, this is still recording. It'll still get uploaded. And maybe not. Maybe the maybe the internet got taken down by the snow. Oh nope, there we go. All right, we're back. <sighs> we're back on. I got to wave 25. I didn't unlock the uh, second location, Dojo 2 or whatever. I think I got to beat, beat all the way through there to do that. But it was a good run. It was probably the best one I've had yet. Shit. All right. Outlast or got a Steam Chivo. What's that give me? Is there a way to view Steam achievements in this thing? All screenshots. Chivos. Outlaster, reach a high score of over 15,000. Damn, that's a lot. All right, what achievements I got left? Die 20 times in one playing, progress 10 waves without losing any health. I feel like I got that one, but whatever. Quick draw, fire a flaming arrow. From thin air, fire 10,000 arrows. Not sure how to shoot a flaming arrow. That might be at the boss. She shoots fire at you. Shit. Okay, well, that went well. It was a good round. It was a good part of uh, Take Her Easy Friday. My heart rate got up to... <coughs> it's at 130 right now. That's that's a pretty good, pretty good rate for Take Her Easy Friday. Not trying to recreate the wheel here. What else can we do that's a little bit easier on Take Her Easy Friday? Let's take a look. Let's take a look at what games I got here in my library. My library. We are. That's installed. How do you filter? Right, play. Certainly one of them. Okay. What's easier to play? That's still a bit of an exercise. But that doesn't look terrible. <laughs> uh, not a whole lot of these. Uh, I'm going to say screw it. We're going to do Knockout League. Just do a round or two of this. <sighs> Sorry about that disconnect earlier, folks. Nothing I can really do about that. My router is just, uh, it's a troublemaker. Uh, I regret buying it every day of the week. I wish I remember what it was so I could tell you not to buy it. Um, it it's really weird. If I do a lot of stuff on my computer, it'll disconnect once. Like if I if I if I put up my computer and go into Destiny too, it'll disconnect me within like maybe five ten minutes of starting. If I unconnect my computer and the hardwire uh, from the the Cat Five cable, plug it right back in, it'll reconnect and just stay connected until the next time I try to do something like Destiny or Overwatch or something like that on the computer. It's super annoying and I can't stand it. I'd love to get a new one, but I'm too lazy to deal with it because it's kind of a pain in the ass. So. Ooh. I've done the first three guys. I haven't beaten the third one yet, uh, but I kind of want to see what the training is. I already did the tutorial. It's Reflex Alley got for me. Yeah, we'll just look all this calibrated. All right, left punch, left punch blue, right punch red. Okay, they already colored it. That's block and dodge. Okay. Uh, let's start at 
Let's start at medium. I'm not particularly good at this, but screw it. Let's start there. I feel like a badass, right? Blue, red, blue, red, blue. Oh, wow, that's fast. Oh, wrong hand. Wrong hand. Oh, shit. <laughs> I gotta tell you. When stuff's coming at you, it feels like it. I gotta... Those are the ones I block. I gotta... Okay, hold on. Dodge those. There we go. I gotta block those. Alright, this is kind of cool. You just gotta get used to which hand does what. What is that even called? Like a downward something or another? Yeah, that's, I bet that's what they call it. A downward something or another. <sighs> oh, you're supposed to block those. Yeah, they need to be a little bit better about differentiating which is what. I mean, obviously you gotta dodge the the barbells. Oh, I don't think I changed the screen viewing mode. I don't know what the hell you guys are seeing, if anything. Oh shit. Are you guys seeing anything? I don't know. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> okay. There we go. Now you are. Oh shit. That thing comes right at your head, man. Alright, this is too loose. Alright. Dodge. Yes, I know I'm too slow. Yeah, I kind of wish this was a little bit better about differentiating between what you're attacking. Oh, I missed 53, but that's on me. All right, so that's the reflex alley. What else we got? Focus mitts, speed bag. Let's try that one out. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> I love learning the basics of the number system. That's what everybody loves, right? Is this working? It's just working. Yeah, let's go. Speed, accuracy, and power. The numbers I call out will tell you what combination of punches I want you to throw. Okay. My number system is simple, kid. Odd numbers are your left hand. Odd. Even numbers are your right. Even. <laughs> Odd. Even. One is a straight punch with your left hand. Let's try it now. One. So one, two. Harder, kid. Let's go. Well, I'm trying to hit my one. monitor here. All right. Next is two. Two is just a straight punch with your right hand. It's not really straight. That's kind of good. Good. It's kind of a cross, isn't it? Now, kid. I should probably be doing this. Three is the left hook. Here we go. Three. Okay, okay. Let's see your right now. This is a stupid. Right hook is four. Stupid numbering system. Ready, I wonder kid. if boxing actually does that. All right, let's do for training. Now. Five is a left uppercut. Let's get it. Five. Should I do it based on where he's holding. Oh, missed completely. One more now, kid. Right uppercut is six. Let's do it. Six. All right, let's put those numbers together. Is that it? Quick drill. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now. Wait till I finish saying the numbers before you start punching. Get ready. Yo, the inside of his mouth is weird. Three, four, five. Okay. Five, six. Four, four. One, four. I don't know what that is. Four. Okay. Three, five, four. Uh. Six, three. Uh, six, three. Good job, kid. That's stupid. I don't know what those numbers mean. Still, up here. Well, whatever. What do we do today? Twenty-nine minutes. I don't want to do that one. That one sucks. Let's get to work. I'm not gonna do the speed bag, that's gonna beat the shit out of me. I already did the tutorial. Eh, fuck it, let's look at the speed bag. Do some training. Well, instructions for points. <laughs> that's good. Use a handle to adjust the speed bag. All right. How am I supposed to know what speed to use? 
All right, well, let's move this. Oh, I can only go up and down with it. I don't like where that is. It's like right here. My Xbox controller's vibrating. That's stupid. All right, let's go start with easy. Left hand. Left hand. Slower. Slow down. Slow down. Can't go much slower than that. More speed. Okay. Slower, kid. So probably a decent, decent kind of training. Slow down, young blood. I keep it in that. Well, I'm trying to. Alternate, there we go. Alternate. Oh, I'm going way too fast on that. Slow down. Slow. Jeez, that's real slow. Speed it up now. Slow it down, young blood. I can't do both. Speed it up now. Slow it, kid. All right, there we go. Slow it down, young blood. Hmm. Okay, that's kind of interesting. I could see that being uh, a workout at higher levels. Okay. Well, we might call it for the day. Did my half hour. I'm going to take it easy Friday. And if uh, experience is any indicator... Actually, hold on. I want to see if there's a way to quit this game without having it crash VR because it does it every single time. So if I go to the menu, go home, and quit it from here, I wonder if it'll crash. Let's delete. Was that home? All right. So usually when I exit the game, it just crashes VR. But it didn't do it that time. Huh. Okay. All right. So you just can't force quit the game. Okay. Cool. Well, um, thank you everyone for joining me. Uh, like I said before, this is just a real quick take your easy session. Uh, we did a round of hollow point for, I don't know, 10, maybe 15 minutes just to get the blood moving a little bit. And we did a little bit of, of work in uh, knockout league just to kind of keep it going and not let it, you know, completely cool down. But I think we're good for today. So thanks everyone for joining. Uh, we'll probably do some flat screen stuff tomorrow, like I mentioned. So uh, tune in if you want to watch that. And if you don't, ain't nobody going to hold that against you either because nobody's watching now. Got to act like you are, though. Thanks, folks. Have a good day. Have a good day.